Have you ever wondered what our planet was like billions of years ago? A time when Earth was a different world, teeming with its unique set of geological phenomena and life forms. Today, we set our sights on one such intriguing period, the Proterozoic Eon. The Proterozoic Eon occupies a significant position in the geological time scale. Imagine the entire history of Earth as a 24-hour clock. If we start at midnight with the formation of our planet, the Proterozoic Eon would span from around 5 in the morning to just before 9 in the evening. It's the second of the three eons of the Precambrian Superion, sandwiched between the fiery Archean and the dawn of visible life in the Phanerozoic. The term Proterozoic might sound a bit complex, but it's derived from Greek words that tell a story. Proteros means earlier and Zoikos pertains to life. Put together, Proterozoic translates to earlier life. It's a fitting name as this eon witnessed the first steps towards the complex life forms we are familiar with today. Covering a time span of nearly two billion years, the Proterozoic Eon is a monumental era in Earth's history. It's a time of transformation, a period when our planet started to look more like the world we inhabit today. It's an eon that saw the oxygen levels in the atmosphere rise, the formation of the first supercontinents, and the emergence of the earliest complex life. The Proterozoic Eon is a witness to Earth's remarkable journey, a testament to its resilience and evolution. It's a period that holds the key to understanding our planet's past and, potentially, its future. But to fully appreciate its significance, we must delve deeper, explore its stages, its events, its life forms and its climatic conditions. So, buckle up as we travel back in time to explore this fascinating period. Imagine a world two and a half billion years ago as the Proterozoic Eon begins. A world unlike the one we know today, where the air we breathe and the life we see around us was yet to fully evolve. At the dawn of the Proterozoic Eon, life on Earth was still in its infancy. Simple, single-celled organisms were the dominant life forms, paving the way for an evolutionary journey that would lead to the complex biodiversity we appreciate today. Our planet's atmosphere was very different from the oxygen-rich environment we're accustomed to. Oxygen was sparse, making up a meagre portion of the atmospheric composition. Instead, the air was primarily filled with nitrogen and carbon dioxide a stark contrast to the breathable atmosphere we enjoy today. The climate too was a far cry from what we experience now. The earth was hotter, with temperatures often soaring to levels that would be intolerable for most of today's life forms. The oceans were warmer and shallower and the land masses were barren, devoid of the lush greenery that clothes our continents today. Despite these seemingly harsh conditions, life persisted, though in a drastically different form. The resilient single-celled organisms that inhabited the Earth during the Proterozoic Eon found ways to survive and thrive. These microscopic pioneers were capable of photosynthesis, a process that would have a profound impact on our planet's future. Their ability to convert sunlight into energy not only allowed them to flourish, but also gradually changed the composition of the atmosphere. Over time, their photosynthetic activities resulted in an increase in atmospheric oxygen, setting the stage for the development of more complex life forms. These initial conditions, as harsh as they may seem to us, were essential for the evolution of life as we know it. The seemingly inhospitable environment of the early Proterozoic Eon was, in fact, a cradle of life, nurturing the earliest organisms and paving the way for the rich biodiversity we see today. As we delve deeper, we will discover how these conditions set the stage for remarkable transformations. Stay with us as we journey through the fascinating epochs that have shaped our planet and our existence. What if I told you that the air you're breathing has a history dating back to this era? Let's take a step back into the Proterozoic Eon, a time in Earth's history when our atmosphere underwent a profound transformation. This period witnessed what scientists fondly refer to as the Great Oxygenation Event. It was a pivotal moment, a veritable revolution, where the oxygen levels in the atmosphere saw a dramatic increase. But what sparked this oxygen revolution? Well, the answer lies in the humble cyanobacteria. These small blue-green algae had a knack for photosynthesis. 
a process where they use sunlight to convert water and carbon dioxide into oxygen and glucose. Over time, these cyanobacteria began to produce oxygen at a rate that outpaced its consumption, gradually releasing more and more oxygen into the atmosphere. But the great oxygenation event wasn't merely a case of more oxygen being pumped into the air. It was a transformative period that significantly affected the planet and its life forms. The increased oxygen levels led to the formation of an ozone layer, a protective shield that absorbs most of the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation. This allowed life to venture out from the ocean's depths and colonize the land. Moreover, the oxygen revolution also had a profound impact on the life forms themselves. Most early life forms were anaerobic, meaning they didn't require oxygen to survive. In fact, for them, oxygen was toxic. The rise in oxygen levels led to a mass extinction of these anaerobic organisms. However, in their place, new life forms that could not only tolerate but thrive in oxygen-rich conditions began to evolve. This oxygen revolution was nothing short of a game changer. It reshaped the Earth's atmosphere, triggered new evolutionary pathways and paved the way for the diversity of life we see today. Thus, the stage was set for a more oxygen-rich world, which would prove crucial for the evolution of complex life forms. In an oxygen-rich environment, the seeds of complex life started to sprout. As the Proterozoic Eon rolled on, the stage was set for a grand evolutionary leap, the emergence of eukaryotic cells. These were not your run-of-the-mill single-celled organisms. No, these were complex cells with a nucleus, housing DNA, and other specialized structures called organelles. These eukaryotes were the jigsaw pieces that would eventually assemble into the puzzle of complex life. Imagine the game of life taking a dramatic turn where these eukaryotic cells began to group together, sharing tasks and forming the first multicellular organisms. This was not just teamwork, it was the dawn of community living on a cellular level, a concept so revolutionary it's hard to overstate its significance. But what do we know about these early multicellular organisms? Fossils, my dear listener, fossils. They whisper tales of the Earth's past, and some of the earliest whispers come from the Proterozoic Eon. The Gabonionta fossils from West Africa, around one billion years old, reveal multicellular organisms that were already quite complex. They hint at a world teeming with life forms we can scarcely imagine. Another intriguing fossil from this era is the Francivillian group fossil, a remarkable example of multicellular life. These fossils exhibit signs of cellular differentiation, indicating that cells within these organisms had begun to take on specialized roles. This was a significant step towards the complex organisms we see today. And so the Proterozoic Eon witnessed the rise of complex life from simple beginnings. The oxygen revolution had set the stage and life, as it always does, found a way to innovate, adapt and evolve. Eukaryotic cells banded together, forming multicellular organisms, setting in motion a chain of events that would ultimately lead to the biodiversity we see today. The Proterozoic Eon, therefore, marked a turning point in the history of life on Earth. But it wasn't just life that was evolving. Even the continents were on the move. The Proterozoic Eon was a time of significant tectonic activity. This era saw the birth and death of not one, but two supercontinents. Rodinia and Columbia, also known as Nuna. Let's start with Columbia. Around 1.8 billion years ago, most of Earth's landmass came together to form this supercontinent. It was a massive entity, dwarfing today's continents. However, like all things in geology, it wasn't permanent. Over hundreds of millions of years, Columbia began to break apart, driven by the relentless churn of the Earth's mantle. But Earth wasn't done playing continental jigsaw. Around one billion years ago, the fragments of Columbia started to come back together, creating a new supercontinent, Rodinia. This landmass was even more vast than its predecessor, stretching from pole to pole. Now you might be wondering, what do these continental dances have to do with the Proterozoic climate? Well, quite a lot, actually. Supercontinents have a profound effect on global climate. They can alter ocean currents, wind patterns, and even the levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. When a supercontinent forms, it creates a vast landmass in the middle of the planet. This can cause the climate to become hotter and drier, 
as the interior of the supercontinent is far from the moderating influence of the sea. Conversely, when a supercontinent breaks apart, the new coastlines can increase rainfall and pull carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, leading to a cooler climate. So the formation and breakup of Columbia and Rodinia would have caused major climatic shifts during the Proterozoic Eon. These shifts might have even played a role in the evolution of complex life as organisms had to adapt to changing environments. These tectonic movements played a key role in shaping the Earth as we know it, not just as a physical entity, but as a home for life. Indeed, even the continents on which we stand are a product of billions of years of geological evolution. As the Proterozoic Eon drew to a close, a new era was about to dawn. The feeling was akin to the anticipation of a new day, filled with the promise of change and evolution. The Proterozoic Eon, a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life, had laid the groundwork for the subsequent era. As we bid adieu to the Proterozoic, we ushered in the Phanerozoic Eon, a period that would bring about phenomenal transformations in the planet's environment and its inhabitants. The transition from the Proterozoic to the Phanerozoic was anything but subtle. It was a time of rapid and dramatic changes. The Earth's atmosphere, which had been slowly accruing oxygen throughout the Proterozoic, was now rich enough to support more complex life forms. It was a pivotal moment in Earth's history, a turning point that set the stage for the explosion of life that was to come. And explode it did. The Phanerozoic Eon heralded the arrival of an unprecedented diversity of life forms. The once barren landscapes of the Earth burst into a riot of colours and forms as flora and fauna evolved in a myriad of ways. It was a time of great dynamism and creativity as life experimented with different shapes, sizes and strategies for survival. But the Phanerozoic was not just about the triumph of life, it was also a time of cataclysmic events. Volcanic eruptions, asteroid impacts and mass extinctions shaped the course of life, forcing it to adapt and evolve in response to these challenges. It was a time of survival of the fittest, a time when life had to prove its mettle against the harsh realities of existence. Yet, despite the trials and tribulations, life persevered. And it was within this crucible of challenges that the seeds for the rise of humankind were sown. As the Proterozoic Eon faded into the annals of history, the Phanerozoic Eon took centre stage, setting the scene for the drama of life that was yet to unfold. The Proterozoic Eon's end marked the beginning of an era that would eventually lead to the rise of humankind. So what is the legacy of the Proterozoic Eon, one might ask? A question of such magnitude deserves a thoughtful response, so let's take a moment to recap the epic journey we've embarked upon. The Proterozoic Eon, a vast expanse of time, stretched from two and a half billion to roughly 540 million years ago. It was a period of profound change and development, a time when Earth matured from its fiery, volatile youth into a more stable, recognizable world. The dawn of the Proterozoic Eon bore witness to the great oxygenation event, a revolution of sorts, where the Earth's atmosphere transformed from a methane-rich haze to one abundant with oxygen. This radical shift, triggered by cyanobacteria's photosynthesis, paved the way for more complex life forms. It was a time when the Earth took its first deep breath, a breath that would ripple through time and shape the trajectory of life as we know it. The Proterozoic Eon also saw the rise of complex life, a remarkable milestone in Earth's evolutionary journey. From simple unicellular organisms, life branched out, diversified and grew in complexity. Multicellular organisms emerged, setting the stage for an explosion of life that would follow in the subsequent Phanerozoic Eon. Supercontinents too played a significant role in the Proterozoic narrative. The formation and breakup of these massive landmasses, such as Rodinia and Panotia, influenced the global climate, oceanic circulation, and the distribution of life. These tectonic ballets, grand in their scale, had far-reaching implications for the Earth's geological and biological development. As the Proterozoic Eon drew to a close, the stage was set for the Phanerozoic, an era marked by visible life and biological diversity. 
But the legacy of the Proterozoic is not confined to the past. Its impact reverberates through time, shaping the world we inhabit today. The Proterozoic Eon, a chapter in Earth's history, set the stage for the world we inhabit today. It was a time of transformation and innovation, a time that echoes in the very fabric of our existence.